Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to create easy guitar strumming in the online version of BandLab. So first I'm going to go up to the top left of the screen and I'm going to click on the Add Track. Then I'm going to click on Virtual Instruments on the pop-up menu. Now the instrument pane has now opened at the bottom of the screen. And I'm going to click on where it says Grand Piano. And then this pop-up list here, I'm going to click on Guitars. And I'm going to choose a guitar. For this one, I'm going to go with Acoustic Guitar. And I'm just going to click down here to close that pop-up menu. You see down here now it says Acoustic Guitar. So when I press on these keys on this keyboard you can hear I've got my guitar now to add some strumming to this we need to turn on this section at the right end of the pane which is this smart chord section so just here is the switch to switch it on so we just click on this toggle and that switches on the smart chords and now that this smart chords pad is switched on you see as I move the mouse cursor we've got this dot that's floating around so just going to move that down to the bottom left and then click down in the bottom left because the bit we actually want now is just below where this dot is it says strum and to the right of that is this dot and we're going to press on the dot and move it to the right till it says 0.03 seconds on the pop-up message. Actually, first I'm going to put it back to zero. And just show you this is what the chord, the smart chord pad has changed these keys to. As you can see now, it's playing chords. So if I go back here to the strum, I'm going to move this dot to the right until it says 0.03 seconds on the pop-up message. And this is about the right timing for a normal guitar strumming. And as you can hear from that, that is creating a downstroke strumming style. If you want an upstroke strumming style, drag the dot on the line to the right of the word strum to the left until it says minus 0.03 seconds. Now you've got an upstroke. Now I'm just going to set that back to 0 0.03. Now this is designed for strumming, not for chord picking. So if I was to drag this dot all the way to the right, you'll see it's delayed the notes but in a strumming fashion, not in a guitar picking fashion. Now the other thing you'll notice is if I click on say this E note, it's playing E minor. And I know that because if you look over here at the top of the pad, the chord we're playing comes up and here it says E minor. And the reason it's playing E minor and not E major is because the smart pad is set to the key scale of C major at the moment. And you can just see that just above this smart pad, we've got the keynote and the scale note. 
So if I click here on the note and change that to F, and then click on major scale and change that to minor, we'll see if I press on the E again, what we've actually got now is this E dim seven. I'm just going to put that back to C major. Now, the other thing worth noting about this, about this smart chords pad is this dot. And when the dot is in this bottom left corner, when you press on a note, you'll see up here it says C major. Now if I move that dot up a bit by pressing on the screen and then clicking a little bit higher and now press on the same note, you'll see it now says C major seven. And if I move it up a bit more and then play the same note, it's now got C major nine if I go to the top, same note again, I've got C major 11. And these are different variations on C major. So I'm going to put it back down at the bottom left again. Now the other thing, because this is two axis, is the way going left and right. So if I now move the dot to the right, What it's actually done is it's moved some of the notes further up the key scale. So if I do that back on the original one, when I press on the C, you'll notice it's this note, that note, and that note. And if I move it along, those three notes have now moved up the scale. And if I move it right up to the top here, or rather right all the way to the right, and then press on the same note again, you'll see it's moved the notes much further up the keyboard. And one other thing worth noting here is this Smart Keys mode. If you click on Smart Keys, what you get basically is just the basic chords on these different keys. So if I press on this one, I get my C major, D minor, E minor. And the idea here is because it's not a full keyboard, it's just showing you the ones that you can use in that key scale, that it should be a lot easier to make a song or a song pattern in this mode even if you don't have any music theory knowledge. So to use this in an actual recording, you just need to press on record at the top here, and then literally just play these keys. And I will just quickly point out that just at the bottom of these keys is these letters A, S, D, F, G. And they actually are the keys on your computer keyboard. So if I press the A on my computer keyboard, I get that C. So you can record using the keys on your keyboard instead of actually on the screen if you want. So let's just record a quick bit here. And you'll see here that it's recorded the notes and you can actually, if you want, go into the MIDI editor and you will see these notes set up and you'll see that they've just staggered these notes automatically for you. 
and these aren't quite in the right place so I'm just going to drag across these notes move them so they're in line so they're in line or rather in sync with the song So that should sound okay now. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.